Well, hello, everybody, and happy Thursday. It's um, Thursday, October 27th, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. This is Lisa Freeman from StampingWithLisa.com coming to you live. And if you are on here on Thursday at 7, then you're on the live. If you And it should say live at the top. If you're coming later, then you're on the replay. Hello, all these people that are on here already. I'm watching all these comments just fly by. <laughs> They're coming so fast I can hardly read them. Um, hello, 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 everybody. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. It was beautiful here today in Chesapeake, Virginia. Beautiful. It was like 65 and sunny and a nice little breeze. And it was just gorgeous. I had a stamping class this morning and we just had so much fun. We made that birthday kit. And uh, I meant to bring it with me so I could show you the finished um, thing with all the cards done. Um, let's see. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Laura. Hey, Cynthia. Hey, Tony. Hey, Barbara. Hey, Beth. Your husband survived heart surgery. Oh, my gosh. Hey, Debbie Spicer. Oh, my gosh. He had surgery today. I'm so glad that he is okay. And you're watching my video. <laughs> He must be doing really well because <laughs> I'm thinking if he wasn't, you wouldn't be watching my video. So that's a good thing. Um, hey, Christine. Hey, Pamela. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Terry. Hey, Bonnie. Hey, Diana. Hey, Robin. Gosh, we've got lots of people on here. Hey, Reva. Hey, Kitty Cat. Hey, Melinda. Hey, Jan. I know I just... Everybody's going so fast, I can't even hardly read the names that fast. Colette, Colette, Jude. All right, so hopefully you guys saw my wedding pictures. Um, I posted a bunch on Facebook, um, so if you are friends with me, you definitely should have seen them. If you're not friends with me, um, you can send me a friend request, but you can also look at them because my page is public. It is not private, so anybody can look at my stuff. Um, let's see... Glad your husband survived, Debbie Spicer. I thought he just had another surgery for something else. Like, that had to do with his lungs or something. I can't remember what it was, but a few weeks ago. Didn't he have another surgery, too? All right. Oh, thank you, kitty cat. Anyway, so... Um, the wedding was a huge success. I talked about it in the last video, and um, I'm sure I forgot to tell you guys something, but I've been talking about it nonstop for the last few days, so um, I can't remember what I told you and what I didn't. <laughs> so, um, hopefully I told you all the good stuff, and um, I hate to, like, repeat myself, but I've been talking to everybody. I can't remember what I told people, so I think I told you most of the stuff that happened, though. I have a funny little story today about what happened yesterday. Um, I'll tell you guys that in a minute. So I had my class today, and then um, we had a birthday celebration, a late birthday celebration for me. And we had a luncheon. Hey, Sandy. And um, hey, Audrey. And so um, everybody brought food, and we had my favorite banana pudding. And I was kind of in a food coma after class was over. And I had to run my friend Beth home, and then I was going to come home and take a nap and then work on my project for tonight. And I said, well, maybe I should work on my project first, and then when I finish, I can take a nap. But then I was kind of like in this food coma, so I just like, I should have just taken a nap and then probably wouldn't have taken me all afternoon. So I spent all afternoon trying to come up with a project, and I just finished this card like at a, not even 30 minutes ago probably, and um, I only got one card done. So <laughs> my goal was to do a one sheet wonder, but I started with the whole sheet of paper and I kept messing up, messing up. So then I said, well, I'm just gonna work on like a little piece of paper and see if I can get one done, then make a whole one, but I ran out of time. So we're gonna be winging it tonight. Um, so I haven't actually done the one sheet wonder yet. So um, you're gonna be doing it with me. So if you wanna just get out a sheet of paper and these stamp sets, if you have them, we're using the Leaves of Holly and the Christmas Season stamp sets. And I also used one more, this one right here. Um, I grabbed that one out of that poinsettia set that we had last year. Um, I can't remember what the name of it is. Uh, shoot, 
it was sitting on the table and I just grabbed that one stamp out of it. But you could use um, like this one instead if you want to. Gosh, I can't remember what that was. And you know, stupid me, I thought, um, what was the other poinsettia? No, not poinsettia petals. That one I thought was still in the catalog. So I forgot to write retired on it. So I started using that one first. And then all of a sudden it dawned on me that that one was retired. And I went, oh my God. So I wasted an hour doing that stamp set and it was retired. So then I grabbed the other poinsettia set, which I didn't really like as much, but I did use that one stamp. Um, what is the name of that? I cannot remember what the name of that stamp set is. That's going to drive me crazy. I think it's in the mini catalog. To, yeah, Marius Moments. That's it. So that's from Marius Moments. So if you have this one, this one, and Marius Moments, this one right here. That's all you need. And then I also used this mask to do like background. You don't have to do that, but I just wanted to add a little bit of background color so it wasn't so stark white. And I'm using, um, let's see, Soft Succulent, Evening Evergreen, Crumb Cake, Soft Suede, and Rich Razzleberry. So those are the colors that you would need. And the words are from that Hope and, Hope and Prayer or Hope and Peace stamp set. But any Merry Christmas will work. Um, or you can use one from this stamp set. Um, I was trying to find one that I had a punch that matched, but that's what I got. And I smeared it. You can kind of see that I smeared it on here. <laughs> so <laughs> You're just going to have to wing it with me tonight, folks, because uh, I'm telling you what, this was like a four-hour card. <laughs> sometimes I can just come up with it in no time, and sometimes it takes me all day long. And this was an all-day-long card because I kind of knew what I wanted to do, but when I... I was in my mind planning the poinsettia petals instead of this. And after I spent an hour doing that, and all of a sudden I'm like, I better check and just make sure that this stamp set is still available. And then it wasn't, and I was like, oh, crud. Look, I got ink all over my stuff. I was like, oh, crud. Then I had to start all over. So um, that was my afternoon. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Let me go back and read all these comments. Um, thank you, everybody. All right, so, Debbie, what's going on with your husband? Because everybody's asking about that. So, you had surgery today, I guess, and I'm thinking he's doing well, because you're watching and you're on here, and you seem to be in good spirits, so that's good. Oh, he's sleeping. Okay, so he's doing great. That's good. Um... Love this set. Oh, Sue, you just got the set. Which one? The the Leaves of Holly? I love this one, too. Thanks, Jan. Thanks, Sandy. You were going to tell us about your date. Um, I didn't tell you about my date on the last video. Um, I thought I talked about him in the last video. I could have sworn I did. He was great, though. We had a good time. And I think I told you about what happened, because uh, I'm almost positive I told you guys about that, what his sister said to my sister about my... I moved way up the bar with that one. Um, oh, so Debbie says he had to have heart surgery before his next one, fix one part, then to the next. Oh, my gosh. Okay. My turn next, Judy. Do you think that Mary Merlot and Cherry Cobbler would be fine for the berries? I checked them all out, so here is the difference. So I tried it with, this is Blackberry Bliss, this is Razzleberry, and this is Merlot. So you could use any of these colors. I tried all three, and I did, I was messing around with different colors. So this is one of my scraps that I was messing around with. Um, and I started using uh, Sahara Sand and Gray Granite. And then I was using Sahara Sand and Crumb Cake. And then I tried Crumb Cake and Soft Suede. That's what I ended up with. Um, so I was messing around. That's all my playing 
but I went with the berries and I liked this color the best, but uh, Mary Merlot would go pretty well too. And so would Blackberry Bliss is just a little bit more purpley, but um, they all look pretty good. But I just love Razzleberry so much. Um, yeah, I did talk about my sister. That's good. Okay. Um, hello from Sweden. Hello, Ann. All the way from Sweden. Um, let's see. What inks? Oh, I just told you all the inks that I'm using. But I'll show them again as we're going. Cherry Cobbler, I'm not sure. I think Cherry Cobbler might be a little bit too red. Because I wanted a more purpley look. With I kind of wanted not regular Christmas colors. And I was going to use like Coastal Cabana and um, Crumb Cake and something else. And I changed my mind because the poinsettia was not available. <laughs> So anyway, all right, so these two sets you need plus that, um, I already forgot the name of it, the other one with that little poinsettia in it. You need a piece of paper, one sheet of paper. This is eight and a half by 11. And that's what we're gonna start with. And I think I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna do that after. Um, so, oh, I got some more birthday cards today. So I got one in the mail from Terry Ames. So that's this one and it's a little step card which I thought was really cute. That's the front. And then it's like that. And it's also my favorite color, Rich Razzleberry. I thought that was really cute. So that's from Terry. Then this is the one, one of them I got today. So it's folded flat and then you pop it up, whoops, like this. It's one of those birthday explosion cards. So that's what it looks like from the top. And this is from Deborah Mar Marcunis. And um, I don't see her on here right now, but she was here at class today. So it's gorgeous. Using one of my favorite stamp sets we used to have with that Adirondack, Adiron I can't say it, Adirondack chair. I loved that one. This one is also from her. This one is a pop-up card. Watch this. Are you ready? Ta-da! Isn't that cute? I love it. So this one is also from Deborah, Deborah Marcunis. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love it. And wait a minute, it's not going flat. There we go. Then I've got one. This one is from Deb Chebitar. This is like a drapery fold, I think is what it's called. I did one of those a long time ago. Love it. And then I got two from Beth, who's watching. This one, it pops up like this. So that's either the front or the back. I'm not sure which one's which. This is probably the front. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, this is the front, and it's got like a um, window sheet on there, and then that's the back, and that's using that brand new stamp set um, that's available to demonstrators right now, and then will be available to customers next month. Or if you are a customer and want to sign up to get the starter kit, you can get it as part of your starter kit right now. So if you love it, love it, love it like I do, you can get it now. And you just click the join button on my website, stampingwithlisa.com. This one is also from Beth. And she said she got the pattern from this from France Martin or Frenchie. So I thought that was really cute. And I think, I want to say this paper is from last year, but I'm not positive. I can't remember because I don't recognize it. I want to say it is from last year, but I'm not positive. Beth is on here. Beth, where's this paper from? Because I don't remember seeing it before. But I want to say it's from last year's holiday mini. All right. So thanks for all those cards, girls. Then I also cut some Rich Razzleberry and some Evening Evergreen. I haven't decided. Well, for this one, I used Rich Razzleberry. So you guys can pick which one you like better in a few minutes. And then you need some um, four by five and a quarter pieces for the inside of the card. And also, don't forget, if you order over $50 from me this month using the host code, you get um, a card kit making these three cards. So you'll get all the supplies you need to make this except for the stamps and ink. And if you order over $100, you get these um, pearls, which is what this is what they look like open. You can't see the red ones because they're underneath there. So that's with the $100 order and use the host code. If your order's over 150, don't use the host code because you get the hostess benefits. All right, so you ready to start? So let's see, we want 
the pine cones to be the main focus really for this one. So I'm gonna start with that and I'm gonna start with soft suede. So this is the smaller of the two pine cones. Well, there's actually two sets of pine cones. So this is the bigger set, but the smaller one of the bigger set. So here's the other one. So see that one is bigger. So this one I'm doing in the lighter color. This one I'm doing in the darker color. So we're gonna start with this one. Let me put this ink pad over here. All right, I'm gonna do five of these. So I'm gonna do, let me move this over here. I'm gonna do five sets. So I'm gonna have one in the top corner and I'm gonna do three together. And I'm just gonna go over here and do another set. And then I'm gonna turn the paper in a minute. And then I'm gonna do one in the middle. And I'm gonna do a set of three, so I'm gonna turn it in just a minute. And then one down here. And I'll turn my paper upside down in just a sec. All right, then we want one more to go with all these. So we're gonna do one like right in the middle. I probably should put a scrap paper down so I don't mess up this one. So we've got three pine cones all together. So um, I did a set of five of those. I probably should have done these a little bit higher, but that's okay. All right, so that was soft suede. So we're done with that color. And we're just gonna hope that I don't mess up anything. <laughs> if we do, we're just gonna cover it with something else. This is crumb cake. These are some of my old pads. I don't know why I grabbed them. Um, all right, so we're gonna stamp on top of all these and they do line up perfectly, but it's hard to do it if you're not right on top, which I can't be because of the cameras right here. So um, I'm gonna have to do it looking sideways. So if mine doesn't line up, that's just because I'm not on top of it. Oh, Whimsical and Wonder. That's what I was thinking it was last year. Yep. I love that pack of paper because I love the colors in it. All right. So when you line it up, you can kind of see, if you look right through it, exactly where it goes, which is like right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's got the exact pattern, like where the missing sections are. And you can kind of see that. So it is pretty easy to line up. So I'm gonna do all the ones facing this way first and then turn the paper around and go back and do the other one. So, oops. I missed that one just a teeny bit. It is hard if you can't see right on top of it. All right, one more, and then we're gonna twist it around a little bit. All right, so then we're gonna do all the ones this way. And I'm trying not to get my head right in the middle of the camera, because then you wouldn't be able to see. All right, but it is pretty easy to line up. And hopefully this is on the screen for you. I'm trying not to go off. Oh, so let me tell you about my story. So yesterday um, I got up and I got up really early to go run some errands because I wanted to go to, to um, Sam's and get gas. And then I was gonna run in the Dollar Tree and pick up, um, I wanted, I'm making little treats for my coworkers for Halloween. So I wanted to go see if they had some little Halloween buckets so I could fill it with like candy and snacks and stuff. And, um, and then I had to go to Kroger's, pick up my um, groceries. So I had all these little errands to run and then I had to go to work. I had to go home and get ready to go to work. So I go to Sam's and it's like 8.30 and I got my rotisserie chicken and everything and um, a few other things. And I'm walking out to the parking lot and I'm about halfway to the parking lot and, hold on, I gotta grab it. I'm walking in my favorite sandals and boom, <laughs> that happened. <laughs> and so then I'm trying to walk to the car like this because this just came like right off of this. 
And you can probably tell I've worn these shoes to death because these are my favorite shoes that I have. They're Crocs. And I've had these probably 10 years and they still are my most comfortable shoes that I own. But I could not walk in them anymore. So then I was like, great. That was my first stop um, was Sam's. And so I didn't even make it back to the car. And I'm sitting there trying to walk with that thing flopping around and my foot sliding off. So I get back to the car. And I'm like, well, there goes the rest of my errands because I couldn't do anything because I couldn't go in a store, you know, with my shoes like that. So I basically, I went to Kroger's and picked up my groceries because I didn't have to get out of the car for that. And then went home and I was so, so mad because I didn't get my stuff. So that was my, uh, how my day started. And then I um, just came home and then I got ready for work and went to work. <laughs> so that was it. All right. So that was crumb cake. So we are done with crumb cake. So that was our two um, pine cones. So now what we're going to do is, let's see, let's do this one next. No, let's do the leaves next. All right, so we're going to be using Evening Evergreen. And we're going to put the leaves. And this is the holly leaf, just one of them. This is the smaller. There's two sets, and this is the smaller set and the one that's kind of open. So it is a two-step stamp, but I'm not doing the two-step. I'm just kind of doing the one step. All right, so I'm going to put these, like, randomly all over. And I'm going to do them in pairs. So, oops. Um, and then on the edge, I'll just do single ones. But um, like right here, we'll have a double. And we're just going to be filling up this space in here. I got something on there. So this these colors look so pretty together. And then just put some like, oops, on the edges. All right, so just keep filling in around the edge. I don't know why this is not inking up very good. And look how pretty that looks. Oh, love it. All right, so we'll hold on for that. And then let's stick these all in. So this is that one that comes from the Merriest Moments. So I'm gonna do that in the same color and I'm gonna stick it in between each of the pine cones. So again, we're just doing double stamping. So you've got a dark and a light. And I'm just gonna go all the way around. I'm gonna do one direction first so I don't have to keep spinning the paper so much. Um, and then I'll kind of turn it. And it is gonna overlap a little bit, but that's okay. Um, let's see, one more here. All right, and then let's turn it. And it doesn't matter if it overlaps a little bit. And just keep going. So two in each spot there. So I think, oops, here's one. All right, then we're gonna turn it again and do this one. And look how pretty that looks. Oh, love it. Love it. Okay, so I think, oops, there's one more. All right, so I think I got all of them. Let's see, check. All right, and then if you wanna fill in with this one, you can. So we could also put like some of these on the edges. Let me, let me do it coming off the edge here. And we'll do two. I like to have a pair with each one. Okay. That's pretty good. All right, so that looks good. So that was, they were both um, evening evergreen. Now we're gonna do the berries. So let's get those. So this is Rich Razzleberry. And we're gonna do all of the open ones first, then I'm gonna go back and do all of the fill-in ones. So it's five um, outside pieces, and then we've got the inside. So this is a two-step stamp. So I'm just gonna do them right in the middle of the pine cones. And then a few like um, around where there's empty spots. 
All right, so I've got one in the center of each one, and then I'm gonna just do a few, like in other spots. Just to add a little bit more color. And we just wanna fill up most of the sheet. All right, so I think that's good. Well, maybe one more right here. All right, so now we're gonna go back and fill this in with the inside one. And the inside one I wanna stamp off because it's um, too dark. If you put it right on top, it's too dark. So you gotta stamp off each one and then stamp on there. And this is pretty easy to line up if you can look right on top, but I can't see right on top of this one on some of them. And I know I'm probably gonna forget to stamp off on at least one. This It's hard to see on this part right here because it's dark, but it doesn't really matter because it still looks pretty. All right, and then just keep going. Oops, that one's crooked. <laughs> I kind of fixed it at the last second. All right, there we go. A few more. Oh, that one's really crooked. Hold on, let me see if I can fix it a little bit. There we go. We can cover that with our words. One more. Oops, two more. I can't remember if I stamped that off or not. These are really hard to see when you're looking at on top of the pine cones because it's dark. It'd help if I had right over top of it, but that's okay. Oops, there's one more too. All right, I think this is the last one. All right, so that looks good. All right, so we're done with, oh no, we're not. We gotta do some words. All right, so we're gonna do some punching real quick. I mean, that's my scrap, so <laughs> that's another one I did. I have all these scraps of ones that I didn't like. All right, so I'm just gonna use the other side of that to punch out some words. So it doesn't matter that I messed up on the other side. We don't really need a ton, but four, four will be good. We'll get one more for extra in case I mess up. All right, so there we go. And then we're gonna take the same punch with evergreen, evening evergreen paper. And we're gonna punch another one. And this is a trick that I like to use with almost any punch you can do this with. And it just creates the look of layering, but you're really not having two different punches, you're using the same one. All right, so there's that. So what you're gonna do is stamp your words in purple in the Razzleberry. So I'm gonna be using the Merry Christmas. And I don't know why I'm doing all this many because I'm probably not gonna make all the cards today. I'm just gonna do one for you. But just so you get the idea, this is how you make them all. So I'll just do four for now. All right, then I'm gonna take that leaf stamp. So I'm totally done with the purple, I think. And then we're gonna um, get that leaf stamp back and stamp on the inside of the card and on this. So the inside of your card is just that quarter of a sheet. So you're gonna take this, ink it up good and then do one, two, and then ink it up again and stamp off and then stamp right on top of your Merry Christmas. So you're gonna have like um, that right there. So I probably should do it even lighter than that. Let me do another one. We'll stamp it off twice. There you go. Oh, that's pretty like that. I like that. So stamp it off twice and then stamp it on there. Love it. All right, so that's it for all of the insides will look like that. 
and then stamp your words. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so I think I am done with the dark green, the evening evergreen. I'll put it away. All right, so let me show you the trick for doing the words. So we're just going to take one of these, and you're going to take this one, and you're going to cut it in half. You can do it hamburger, which would be this way, or hot dog, the long way. Either way should work. But you just cut it in half, put some tape on the back, and, oops. Now I need to read some comments because you guys are just talking away. I see this the comments flying by and I haven't even read them all. So let me hold on, stop a second and read some. Okay. All right, let me go back and look. Watercolors. My card stamping friends are so talented. Yes, Audrey, they sure are. Um, there is... A couple of them are in my downline too, the ones that come that came today, like Beth and Diane. Diane made some gorgeous cards. I took pictures of them. I'll, I'm gonna copy hers, but I gotta order the die set first from the the one that goes with the what is it called? Lights aglow. I gotta order that one that goes with a tree. Um oh Anne, wait a minute, you said you don't have Stampin' Up in Sweden. I was thinking Stampin' Up! just started in Sweden. I'm almost sure Stampin' Up! just started somewhere in the last month or two, and I thought it was Sweden. Maybe it's not. It's somewhere in Europe, but I'm almost positive Stampin' Up! just started in Sweden. Somebody check that for me, if you're a demonstrator. Um, oh, Pamela, that's, that paper that Beth just did was on the clearance rack just right um, recently, last week. Um, yeah, somebody double check because I am almost positive that Stampin' Up! is in Sweden right now. I know they were in Denmark. I think Denmark and um, the UK, Germany. I'm almost positive it's Sweden. All right, so you're going to stick this one over here because I'm pretty sure they just announced it at the convention that was in... Um, couple months ago. All right, then you put um, whatever you want on the back of this. I'm going to put some ribbon on the back. Well, actually, I did the ribbon like this, and I just put tape on the back and put it up, looped it, and came down. So it kind of looks almost like an easel behind it, but I think I'm going to do a bow on the one that goes with this one. All right, so this is the inside of my card, and then let's go ahead and finish this. So all I got left to do is the sprinkles and the sponging. So the sponging we're going to do with this mask. So I'm going to be using soft succulent. And I realized when I was doing this a little while ago that my pad is kind of dry. So I'm going to have to probably do it a few times. So we're just going to, oops, I just moved it. Darn it. So hold it tight when you're doing it so it doesn't move. And... We're just going to kind of try to go over each piece. So some, see how that pretty that looks? Oh, love it. Um, so there's some for each. We're going to be cutting it in quarters. So you want some on each quarter of your card. Let me try and line that back up a minute. And there we go. All right, and then we're gonna move that to the next area. So this will be like another card right here. Oops, I just stuck my finger right in there. Let's do it. I don't like it straight, so I want it kind of crooked. Oops, I just moved it. You could tape it down, that would probably work better. <laughs> Doesn't matter if it overlaps because this is gonna be cut like right there. So it won't matter. All right, let's do this one. Yeah, it would be much easier if it was taped down, but we're not gonna take that much time to do it. But if you're doing it at home and you wanna make it easier on yourself, then definitely tape it. And 
that'll help. So there's one for that one. And then one more down here. Let's put this one this way. But I think that makes a really pretty background and gives it some color without just like plain old sponging, you know? Because usually I just sponge it and don't have any kind of design back there. And don't get too close to the edge because you don't want to get that straight area on there. All right, so there we go. So we got all four sections done. So that's it for sponging. And then we've got some little sprinkles. So I just grabbed this off my table. It's in like four or five different stamp sets, these little sprinkly stamps. So we're just gonna put some of them all over. And it just gives it a little um, splash of color also. And you could do it at any color you want to. I'm just doing the soft succulent. So I think this is coming out really, really nice. I love it. And there we go. A few more. All right, so now we're gonna cut it up. And you know what we probably should do is go ahead and, well, I think I like to glue it down first and then spray it with um, shimmer spray. But let me see. Shoot, I don't have a Wink of Stella. I'm, oh, here it is. Got Wink of Stella. We could do this. Let me get something to hit it with. We're going to do some Wink of Stella. Oops! <laughs> I didn't finish reading comments. <laughs> I got distracted. That looked like butterflies before I turned it. Oh, somebody was supposed to check on Sweden. Did anybody check on that? Um, uh... Somebody did a um, troll post on here. Luckily, somebody hit it. That's good. Um, let's see. Thank you. One word might be losing too much. Did that make sense? How are you? Wait a minute. Um, hold on. I missed something. Did I miss much? I'm late. <laughs> oh, Rochelle says... Um, She's late. Which stamp set is this? You are going to have to go back and watch because I already told everything that's in here. But it's Leaves of Holly and uh, what's the other one? No, I can't remember the name of it. The one with the pine cones. Um, oh, Debbie Spicer says you didn't miss much. <laughs> but with Lisa, one word might be losing too much. <laughs> that was kind of nice and kind of not. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. Um, let's see. Hello from Idaho. Hey, Linda. Elevation worship tour. Oh, Rochelle, you're going to the... Oh, my gosh, I love that. One of my friends just went to that, and it... Oh, where was it? I want to say it was, like, Minnesota or somewhere um, in the last... It was a couple months ago, though, I think. I would love to go to that. Oh, Susan said when she first came on, she thought I was using DSP. Um, thank you, kitty cat. No Sweden? Well, what is the country that they just started in? Because they just started um, um, Stampin' Up! just started in a new country in the last couple months, and I thought it was Sweden. Does anybody know where it is? Um, let's see. Sue says, you don't have the patience to watch as Ruth creates. Oh my God, I love Ruth. She's one of my favorite people. Belgium. Okay, Audrey says Belgium. I was thinking it was Sweden. I thought it started with an S. Oh, well. All right, so we're going to do some spanking of Stella and put some sparkle on here. And then we're also going to spritz it too. So I'm getting this all over my fingers. Can you guys see that? Oh, sparkles, sparkling, sparkling, everywhere sparkling. Love it. Can you guys see that? Sparkle. Belgium. Oh, and Ireland and Scotland. 
Okay, so we have Belgium, Scotland, and Ireland that Stampin' Up! just started. I thought it was just one place. And I thought it started with an S. Oh. Sue says she loves Ruth. She just gets impatient waiting. Okay, I gotcha. <laughs> can you guys see the sparkle? Oh, it's hard to see. Hold on, let me see if I put it in the light if you can see it. Oh, man, it looks so pretty, too. I got sparkle all over. Oh, um, yes, Ruth is awesome. I love her. She's one of my favorite, favorite stampers. All right, so now we're going to cut. Uh-oh, you know what I don't have right with me is my paper cutter. Where is it? Hold on. Here it is. Hold on, I got to go get it. That's what I should have got. I forgot I cleaned my office and I put it over on the shelf. Okay, so we're gonna cut this and I'm just gonna cut it in half first and then I'm gonna trim off which part I don't like. So we're gonna do it at five and a half, which will be halfway. I think that's five and a half, yep. And four and a quarter. And then we're gonna trim off whichever edge we don't like, so. All right, so let's just take one so I'm going to pick my favorite one. Well, they kind of are all pretty. Let me do these two. Oh, I think that one's pretty. Oh, it's just so hard. Okay, I'm going to use this one. All right, so we want to decide. We got to cut off a quarter of an inch on two sides. So I think I'm going to pick this side right here. So I'm going to cut it down to four. And then I've got to cut one more. I think I'm going to do the top to five and a quarter. All right. And then save those little scraps because you can put them on the inside of your card. So um, you're going to trim all of them to five and a quarter by four. But I'm just going to make one card because they're all going to be the same. And I think I want it to go like this. So I'm going to put my words at the top and then do a bow, which I did ahead of time. But I'll go ahead and make another one for you guys so you can see how I did it. All right, so would you rather have Razzleberry or Evening Evergreen for the back piece? So we've got two. So which do you like better as the background? I'll let you decide. Oh, gosh, I'm getting lots of hearts. I'm so glad you like it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. Yes, and all, all of this pretty much comes from the two stamps, except for this one right here I got out of that um, Marius Moments one. But you could use a different one if you want, just from the stamp sets. Um, can never have too much bling. That's exactly right. Um... Debbie Spicer, you're funny. Razzleberry, Razzleberry, Razzleberry. Green, green, Razzleberry. Oh, looks like Razzleberry um, is mostly winning. Yeah. <laughs> Eeny, meeny. <laughs> All right, I think we're going to do Razzleberry then. So we'll grab a Razzleberry and this one and grab my inside piece which is in the evergreen. All right, so this one is gonna go on the front and I'm gonna put these at the bottom because I want my, you could do it the other way too. If you want that, put the words on the bottom. You can choose whichever you want, but I wanna do this bow. So I'm gonna do the words at the top. So it will be this way. So I'm gonna glue that down. That's the good thing. And you can also do it sideways if you wanted to too. So. If you wanted to, you could do the card this way and put your words. <gasps> we could do that. Um, no, I'm going to do it. Keep it the way I had it. Um, but you could turn this card any direction you want. doesn't matter. Once you cut it, it's good to go. All right. This one goes on the inside. And each card will look totally different, really, because I didn't stamp them all exactly the same. So you could make them all totally different. All right, so then for this, I'm gonna put it on with dimensionals up here at the top. Let me get some dimensionals. 
And these are my little pieces. I always save my little side pieces. You don't want to waste them. And I'm going to show you how I made the bow. Since I know you guys love watching me make bows now. Since I got to be pretty good at it. I'm going to put it on the side. Just so I don't cover all of my pine cone. All right, so here's my ribbon. So what I did this time to make it easier to put together is I cut it after I did the bow. So this is my favorite ribbon. It's the the gold satin edge ribbon that's in the holiday mini. So you start with the tail in your hand, your left hand, and then you use your two fingers like scissors and you're gonna go around. So I just came around the back and then in front of the bottom one on top, and on top, and then I'm gonna go through. So right now I'm just kind of checking how much I need. So we're gonna cut that. All right, so now I'm gonna do it again so you can see what I did. All right, so you start with the tail in your hand, go around your top finger, and then come back on top of the second finger, do a figure eight, back around this one, and then you're gonna go through, and I think I cut it too short. Let me start back and do this part shorter. All right, so around the top, here you go, figure eight, figure eight, and through. So it goes right through that back part. Oops, I lost it. There we go. My fingers are fat. It's so much easier if you don't have fat fingers. All right, so now we've wrapped it around here and you need to go down here and up through this knot right in the middle there. So that's the hardest part is getting it up through there. Hold on. My fat fingers are in the way. Ah, went crooked. Hold on. All right, let's try this one more time. I, I always cut this too short and now it's coming off. <laughs> All right, hold on. We're gonna go up here. Dang, I do this so easily earlier. Hold on, we're gonna start again. All right, when nobody's watching, I can do these like in five seconds. All right, and up through this piece right here. Why is it not going in there for me? Oh my God. <laughs> it's cause you guys are all watching me, that's why. <laughs> Oh my God, this is so embarrassing. Okay, really, it's not that hard. I do these constantly and they are so easy, but for some reason, this one is just hanging me up here. I can't get it through. All right, there we go. So I got it through, then you just pull it tight and pull the other side tight. All right, so now we got it. Then you just slide it off your fingers which if you have fat fingers is not as easy as it looks. I know you guys are all laughing at me. <laughs> all right, so here we go. So this is a pretty bow by itself, just the way it is, like that. Or you can put it this way. You can put your little tails either way, it doesn't matter. Usually they go easier one way. All right, so see how we've got these two um, pieces here? So what I did was I took the scissors and I cut this afterwards instead of before. Usually I cut it before, right up the middle, but you can cut it after too. And it's actually easier because um, you're only doing these little pieces and it's easier to put it together when you don't have all the, the skinny pieces and twice as much ribbon. So I'm just slicing right down the middle of each loop on here. There you go. And then we're gonna slice up this end. And, hold on. Everybody hold your breath. <laughs> and then up this side too. So you could do this beforehand, but I found that it's actually easier to tie the bow if you do it after. Um, and then you have that beautiful bow. So all that work paid off. That one came out better, but I can do them so much easier when no one's watching me. <laughs> I 
think I'm going to do a bow video, but I'm going to have to do it when nobody's watching and do it <laughs> by myself. <laughs> it's not that hard. Okay. All right. So there we go. We've got our bow. So we're going to put that on with some glue dots. And I think I'm going to use two just to make it extra sticky. And put that right on the bottom. We don't want to cover our words up. So there you go. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. Love it. Love it. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. And I didn't cover my pine cones. Oh, I forgot pearls. So let's get my take your pick tool. We're going to add some gold ones on here. So just wherever you like some gold. You could use the green ones too. They match. Um, oh, I should put some in the center of the little, um, whatchamacallit, center of those berries. All right, so now we've got some bling on there. Now we got to shimmer it. All right, so little shimmer. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my gosh, looks so pretty. Let me get some water. Okay, so there we go. So we've got two cards and a mess. Now like, let's take this away so then you can see it better. Oh, that looks so pretty. So what do you guys think? We love it. Love it, love it. Got a mess on my table here. Ta-da! Yeah, there you go. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Stunning. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yay, Lisa did it. <laughs> the anticipation is killing you. <laughs> Audrey, you're funny. It was killing me too because I was worried I wasn't going to get it. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. I now know why mine kept coming up untied. I wasn't doing the figure eight just straight. Okay. All right. It is easy if you don't have fat fingers. Um, but just practice it. <laughs> uh, oh, Debbie says, of course we are laughing at you, but with you mainly. That's funny. You guys are so funny. <laughs> Sue said she was trying to do it with me, but she was all fumble fingers. You just got to practice. But the hardest part is getting that last step through that, like to go back up through that loop. It helps if you have extra ribbon, but sometimes I cut it too short. Um, mostly when you tighten it, it falls apart. Yeah, you just got to practice. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching and being patient with me doing that ribbon. <laughs> That's why I had us back up one just in case. <laughs> All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. And then what you have left over, you can go ahead and make some more cards with. So we've got three more left over to make cards. And I, um, you can do the words however you want. You could also turn it if you want to do it sideways and put your words to go in the other way or do your words like a banner or whatever you like. But I hope you enjoyed that and hopefully you can see some shimmer on there. It's so pretty. I love it, love it, love it. Um, all right, you guys. Um, it's like starting an IV. Practice, practice, practice. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't want to be the person you're practicing on. All right. You guys have a great night. And I'll be back Saturday night for date night with um, Lisa. And um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Like, share, comment, all that good stuff. And don't forget, if you want to order, let me get my dirty piece of paper back. Um, here is the host code. And don't look at my dirty piece of paper here. I don't know why I stamped right on there. And I'll have a new card kit for you on the 1st. So not on Saturday, but on Tuesday. We'll have a new card kit coming. I think it's going to be a napkin card kit. Because I have these really pretty napkins I want to use. But All right, you guys. That's it for me. So long and take care, everybody. Bye-bye.